this is Diane Underwood from Reverse Aging in Pittsburgh. I wanted to talk uh, about some of the things that I've discovered over the years. Uh, I was going to a holistic medical doctor that was also a homeopathic uh, medical doctor, Gerber, Dr. Gerber from Gerber Medical Clinic in Reno. Uh, and I was going to them for treatment. I had cystic acne and they were injecting my pimples that were cystic that were underneath my skin and festered the whole time and they were huge and every month they got worse. Um, before I started going to them because I was going to a dermatologist that was injecting me with steroids which I thought the physician was going to be injecting me with some type of antibiotic. And then after several months going to this physician, I went in and I said, hey, those injections are leaving holes in my skin. And the physician said, uh, that's what happens, silly, when I shoot your zits with steroids. And if there's nothing further as he looks me up and down, I need to uh, get back to my patients. And I'm not sure if you've ever had an outer body experience, but that was one of mine where I just went, and I don't know if I was just in shock the way that he uh, spoke to me, but I'm not really used to anybody calling me silly, which means stupid, calling my pimples on my face, which were cystic acne zits. And then um, uh, he also told me that he was injecting me with steroids, which was a shock to me. Now, when you have cystic acne and you're going to a dermatologist and you don't ask the dermatologist what you're doing, uh, sometimes contraindications can occur. And I met Gerber um, and his wife at a seminar up at Lake Tahoe. I met Cindy Coverdale there. I met a whole bunch of Bob McCormick. I met a whole bunch of people that were uh, from Lake Tahoe with Stephen Barr, who is an amazing healer. And I've always had like these sensitivities and uh, which I'm going to be getting into some of these sensitivities. And uh, Dr. Gerber said to me, if you have bacteria in your body, he said, which everybody does, and you're injecting steroids into bacteria, that's a contraindication. So what happened to me over those uh, several months that I was going to that physician was I started to blow up um, like a balloon. And I went from like perfect body to uh, 30 pounds overweight within a couple of months. But that's what steroids do. And that's why farmers inject them, their animals with steroids. So it beefs them up and they get more money per pound. So where you have steroids, bacteria is a contraindication. And everybody has bacteria on their teeth and in their stomach. I mean, that's part of life um, on their skin, and their sinuses, they say, on average, people have three different um, bacterias in their, in their nose at all times. So um, the, the number one bacteria that most people have in their sinuses is MRSA. And in Reno, Nevada, that is uh, one of the things, MRSA, uh, that uh, many people get. I met a nurse who swore up and down. He said, if you've been to a hospital or you live um, close to the river in uh, Reno, you've been to a hospital, he said, you have MRSA. He said, everybody in Reno has it. And you can also, um, you can look up staph, uh, PH, aureus, it's A-U-R-I-U-S, something like that. Aureus, Staph Aureus, MRSA, and there is a, an essential oil that I can send you that is scientifically proven to work on MRSA uh, from a company um, that I am a distributor for, and I've actually made some money with their products, and I love their products, and that gets me to uh, one of the things that most people have, I can't say most people, but most people that are sensitive have um, is the MTHFR uh, gene. And if you go to 21andMe, 
21 and me and I will put that on uh, the uh, video up at the top they do a test and it's a saliva test and then they can tell you and I met I've met several people over the years I mean imagine getting physician referred clients and not asking them what the doctor has them on for whatever conditions that they have well I've had several hundred um, uh, physician referred clients I've been open for 18 years and any time that those people would come in and especially if they were going to Michael Gerber I would always ask them what they were taking because I do think that uh, he is one of the people that really want to uh, help people uh, with new nutrition and getting them on track and the reason why they're busy is because number one the planet is polluted and number two uh, he helps many people or at least tries to help many people um, and uh, so yeah I had a lot of physician referred clients in my first year that had congestive heart failure and I thanked one of the practitioners who was referring me his congestive heart failure patients and he said thank you he's like they wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and I'm like well they wouldn't be here if they didn't use the saunas he's like no they wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and I was like well thank you very much but uh, you know they came they helped me uh, pay my rent by doing a membership and I have the devices here that I found over the 18 years I've had a lot of them a lot of different devices to figure out what the best ones are and uh, you can't buy these in Whole Foods or in any type of uh, um, pharmacy so uh, the website is going to be 21 and me and they're going to test you for MTHFR gene mutations which basically means that you have a problem methylating so that means if you're one of those people that uh, has problems with dark circles you have problems breathing you have problems sleeping you have problems with energy you might have problems with anxiety uh, you eat certain foods you're allergic to them uh, you have fatigue brain fog uh, it's almost like a heavy metal toxicity or chronic fatigue-ish type of person, uh, fibromyalgia. So what happens is when we are exposed, and I'll give you the best example that I know, is you go to a place that has a lot of cigarette smoke. Let's say you go to a bar. And you can handle that and you're fine the next day. Well, there's other people like me who go to that bar and feel like crap for two or three days because we were in a bar with 30 people's cigarettes that have different chemicals so um, yeah uh, those types of things uh, make us very ill uh, if I were to drink a couple glasses of wine I'm gonna get hammered over the other person that doesn't have the MTHFR gene mutation because my body isn't methylating out the toxins uh, like they do a person who doesn't have problems methylating MTHFR yeah I mean you know what that kind of stands for so yeah it's not the best gene so uh, when people start to detoxify there's many people that um, really have uh, questions about what to start with and I believe from this one company uh, that their essential oils are divine and they've tested the DNA to be pure and what they do is they test them to be free of herbicides pesticides and any other foreign contaminants uh, they're certified pure therapeutic ready to be are free of basically chemicals and what they're doing is testing the DNA and that's far better than organic so I trust uh, their essential oils and um, I love most of their products from the company and uh, if you know what my favorite essential oil is and I know all those people in Reno they're going DDR yes so there's many uh, doTERRA distributors that have no idea what DDR stands for and D DDR stands for DNA damage response or DNA damage repair and uh, there's something called the step ladder effect let me, get, let me get the black okay 
So when you start to detoxify, it's kind of like steps, right? You're going through these steps of uh, detoxification and you get to a step, you balance out, you feel um, maybe you don't feel well or maybe that you're feeling well and that you want to you wanna bounce something up. Well, there's another step there. So when you start to detoxify, you can stay on this second step for a while. So let's say that you did a bottle of lemon essential oil and you're going to do that eight drops a day and it's $13.33. I believe on um, a cellular level, if you were to get your blood done before you started taking the lemon and then the blood after, I believe that most people would notice a significant difference whether you were doing it doesn't matter, frankincense, lemon, wild orange, lemongrass, and you did eight drops per day. And um, yeah, I sell infrared saunas to physicians. I have them use the saunas every day for 30 days. I give them times and temperatures indicative of kind of what's going on with them and, and uh, what's going on with the family and when they have time to use it. So um, there are some essential oils that I love for people to get on. And my favorite essential oil is called DDR, DNA Damage Response or DNA Damage Repair. It has frankincense in it, lemongrass, thyme, clove, melaleuca, and wild orange. And uh, those are some very powerful essential oils. Um, frankincense is the first ingredient in it and I think everybody knows that frankincense they mention it in the Bible and the wise men and everything like that so yes it's a pretty good essential oil for uh, pretty much everything it goes from A to Z and it covers everything from neurology to uh, plasma to nervous system and because there are some essential oils that cross the blood-brain barrier okay which means that they can go intracellularly, and frankincense can do that. Sandalwood, Melissa, some of the expensive ones can, um, but if we're looking at melaleuca or clove, that, that those are gonna be major antioxidants that are working on the plasma. The plasma is what carries the red blood cell. So there's some that work on the terrain Okay, and then there's some that go intracellularly. So they can help each other. And uh, there is one that I love everybody to do. I can't make people do it, but uh, there is one essential oil that I love people to do if they're gonna do a 30 day cleanse to me. Makes a lot of sense to do this one here. It's the best price from the company. Uh, a little 15 milliliter of frankincense is $93 and uh, this one basically has double so it's 30 milliliters and this one is 73.33 so um, and frankincense is the number one ingredient in here alrighty so there's something called the step ladder effect and then there's also something that you have to think about which right here I'll make it green an onion it's my green onion okay so when you start to detoxify your body you're not going to detoxify something out first from when you were one or two or three or four or five unless you're five okay if you're five you're still going to work on the recent things that you have it's kind of like the Benjamin Button thing he's going in reverse but that's basically what happens is there's an onion an onion has a layer okay and as you work on your cells and you continue to cleanse and you're using the stepladder effect which I can't get totally into that on the film because it's just gonna go on for too long but I have information on the stepladder effect and there are some ways to uh, not basically bottom out when you start to cleanse. And one of the things is is uh, getting off the cleanse. So let's say that you're doing a fast. 
and you're like, okay, well, I have to eat that pizza, and you eat the pizza, well, you can still continue on the fast. It doesn't mean that you have to stop. You just eat the pizza, see your stomach get all puffy, and then get back on your fast. Even though you broke the fast, it doesn't mean that you should quit. Or if you're doing a juice cleanse or using the infrared sauna or you're doing some type of um, uh, detoxification program. Now, people like me cannot take nutraceuticals. People with the MTHFR gene mutation have problems with ascorbic acid, um, magnesium stearate, calcium citrate, sodium, um, gosh, benzenate, let's just say. What I'm talking about are compounds, and these compounds are chemicals. So a nutraceutical is going to be something from nature, okay, on a molecular level, okay, a constituent, and then what they're going to do is they're going to add like rose hips with vitamin C added. So they're going to take that rose hip, which is a, an herb, and then they're going to supplement with ascorbic acid. Okay, well that's a nutraceutical. People with the MTHFR gene mutation um, can have things like Hashimoto's. Uh, we can have chronic fatigue. We can have fibromyalgia. We manifest many, 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 many different symptoms. So um, when you start a cleanse, you may not feel well when you stop because you might have this MTHFR gene mutation or one of the other genes that have to do with the MTHFR gene mutation. So there's a lot of people out there that are selling nutritional supplements and they're trying to detoxify people and they estimate with this MTHFR gene that 40 to 60 percent of the population have a problem with this MTHFR gene okay and that means that we don't methylate so when we smell perfume or we're in a bar and we smell that smoke or we're in the wind direction of California and they have those fires and they're um, spraying all that stuff with fire retardants and there's plastics and all kinds of chemicals that were all over the forest and everybody's you know carbon dioxide carbon monoxide the plastics from people's houses all the chemicals that burned all the stuff that they've sprayed over and over and over there's pollutions everywhere and David Wolf says it's more important right now to detoxify than even organic food and it's like I look at food from California and I go, oh, because I know that California is totally polluted. I just came from there um, with the forest fires and all that other stuff and getting all just, yeah, if you go there, you would just have to see it. But it doesn't really matter what state that you live in. If you watch the sunrise or you watch the sunset, you'll see this orange oxidation and it's uh, different on a daily basis. But uh, you know, 10 years ago, you wouldn't see the sun going down in all of this um, oxidation. And that's going to be all acidic waste. That's one of the reasons why I have an ionizer. And when we use the ionizers, we use the alkaline water in the diffusers because of all the acids that are in the air and all the chemicals, basically. So, um, yeah, it's basically like rust. So there's people, for instance, that have problems sleeping. They can't get up in the morning. Well, if those people would try sun gazing first thing in the morning and um, work up into it and watch a video on it, I'm not saying watch the sun go up for 30 minutes, but when uh, the sun first starts coming up and it's, you know, you can start seeing the little crest of it and um, you don't have to look right at it, but you can look towards that area. You can even have your eyes down uh, you know, where you're not looking directly at the sun. Of course, that's my mom. I'm rejecting her. And um, she's going to call back. She always does. Uh, so, um, yeah, there's safe ways to watch the sun. I can watch the sun gaze because I've been doing it for years. I'm one of those kids that had really dark circles. 
Um, I don't have to put on makeup underneath my eyes. I mean, I can if I want to. My eyes are tattooed. Um, I do use a little bit of lip coloring on my lips. But um, I don't have mascara on and um, uh, foundation and, and that type of stuff. But I can do that. I just feel kind of like it's a waste because I'm washing my face at the end of the day anyway. But I felt as though... Um, that I needed that stuff in the past because I had really dark circles and really bad allergies and it was part of my profession. I was a cocktail waitress uh, for many years and you know when you're a waitress you have to you know look good especially if you're a cocktail waitress and you're all running around glamorous you have to look good you have to it's like being a dancer you have to use a little bit of makeup. So um, now I'm just over it. Uh, okay with the step ladder effect, if you start to detoxify and then you, you're not detoxifying, the people with the MTH, FRG mutation, guess what's going to happen to them? They're going to have something happen. Whether it's the strep throat, whether it's... God, there's so many uh, headaches, migraines, um, not feeling well, uh, fatigue... Uh, inflammation, whatever your manifestations are of when your immune system goes down. That's what happens. So, when people start coming to use the infrared saunas or you get one for home, it's important that when you're not using the infrared sauna and you start detoxifying, that you do what? That you do something to help your body methylate and detoxify. And what are you going to use? Well, you can use filtered water, alkaline water from my ionizer. Um, you can exercise, which helps sweat that stuff out. Um, deep breathe, meditation, yoga, um, eating right, green drinks. But my favorite way to work on the cellular level for me is doing this DDR. I believe in this. There's four products I like people to do when they start to come and detoxify. This is definitely one of them. Um, there is a body cleanse makeover by this company. And it has all the big guns. Okay. What a lot of people don't know is that... Um, see, I'm not going to use the Windex. I'm just going to use a towel to wipe this down. All right. It's actually my shirt. It says naughty or nice. Somebody made comments on it. I'm like, well, you gotta be naughty and nice. It's no fun if you're just being nice all the time. Alrighty. So, um, uh, the full body makeover. Uh, basically, the key players in this are gonna be enzymes, antioxidants, probiotics, and prebiotics, detoxifiers, and cleansers. And this has every single one of them uh, in here, which I've never done. And I'm looking good, and I'm feeling good, and I don't feel like, um, you know, that I need makeup or that I'm tired or I'm fatigued. I did not feel well for a couple days over the summer when we had the bad air day and we had orange alerts. There were knots in my back, and I had to have a massage therapist, Doug Karinko, come and he's like, what happened to your back? I'm like, well, I was just outside too much and it's polluted, you know, the last few days. It affects me. And he's like, wow, these are like trigger points. Well, that's what happens to me when I am outside exposed to all the ozone and the fire retardants and all the chemicals. Um, and I believe, I can't remember if it was in July or August. I'd have to look back at my text, but we had orange alert. And then, uh, yeah, then there weren't a whole bunch of planes in the skies for a few days so they finally stopped for a little while let's just say yeah all right i'm not going to go there even though i want to okay so um this has in it the ddr dna damage response okay the big guns it has the probiotics in it uh, which are in a capsule uh, that have caprolytic acid and coconut oil in the first uh, capsule that opens up. And in the innards of the capsule, there's another capsule with the probiotics and the prebiotics. 
And what people don't know, most people don't know about probiotics, uh, is that when you take them, your stomach acid kills a lot of it, or at least should. So when this first capsule opens up in your stomach, okay, it coats your stomach with these alkaline, um, you know, like oil lubricant in the body. And then the other capsule goes down deeper into your body. It kind of like travels down. Uh, it's like a time release. And then there's probiotics in there and prebiotics. And the prebiotics are just like little babies. They're before they turn pro. So like if you had a seed and then the seed started to sprout, okay, we're looking at the seed and then that as the prebiotic and then the probiotic is the one that has sprouted. So you're getting the prebiotic and the probiotics and they're giving you a 30 day regime here and like I don't have weight to lose or dark circles or acne on my face right now. I did have acne over the summertime. It was not fun. And I swear to God, it was from the water and from the canola oil that I was eating at a place that serves a lot of canola oil. And I've had, um, I was eating a lot of chips. I would have a bag every single day and then I was having their pizza, which is loaded with canola oil. And I just couldn't get rid of it. It was just spreading all over the place. I think I was making it worse because I was picking it. And I was used to everybody saying, oh, your skin is luminous. Like, I don't wear a foundation. I don't need it. But over the summertime, I needed it. Uh, my face was so uneven. I couldn't believe. I believe solely it was from the water in Pittsburgh. I don't care. I'm going to say it. And uh, my immune system went down four months of bathing and showering in the city water. And another reason why I know that is because for uh, years, I was washing people's dishes, you know, the glasses. And my hands, I could see getting, you know, kind of decrepit from the city water. Why well, I have an ionizer, which we can drink the water, but I didn't have a full house water filtration system. And I had little pains in my hands, and I could see kind of my hands were dry. And I was like, hmm. And I finally realized that that was probably from washing those dishes, okay, mm -hmm. in the city water. And then once I got a full house water filtration system, guess whose hands went back to looking beautiful? Well... Uh, I've been washing those dishes in city water, so I'm going to have to get a dishwasher. So for almost a year now, my hands have been in city water washing dishes. Um, so, yeah, I would like a dishwasher for Christmas, please. Um, okay. So, um, Many people can buy probiotics and prebiotics at the store and, and they'll say, oh, well, it has 45 different strains. Where well, some of those are antagonistic, which means that some of them fight each other. And the more probiotics and prebiotics that you have in a product doesn't mean that they're good. So some of those can start other infections in the body. So somebody who has a yeast issue or a candida issue, it may, it's like a statin. It's, it's going to cause, or it may cause, uh, more fungi down the road. And, uh, yeah, you, there's, there's strains that shouldn't be mixed together. Um, but, hey, more is better. You're American. You're going to go 45 different probiotics. woo -hoo -hoo! Well, in this one, there's five, maybe six. And uh, I think it's six. And, uh, again, it's encapsulated. Okay, so you're going to be getting the DDR, you're going to be getting the probiotics, uh, you're going to be getting enzymes to take with every uh, meal. And let me just tell you something about enzymes. I've been selling infrared saunas for 18 years, and when I talk to the physicians that uh, are amazing, some of these physicians I've met, some of the nutritionists, a lot of them have written books and everything every single time that... Um, I get a chance to ask them and drill them. Sometimes they're uh, doing trainings here, at reverse aging, or I'm at a show, um, or I'm at their clinic training their staff. Uh, I ask them, what's the most important thing? And many times they say enzymes, many times. I would say nine out of 10 times, enzymes. Um, I have a friend who's a nurse that says enzymes, really pretty. Tamara, Tamara, yeah. 
Tamara. Hi. I'll tag you on this. She says the same thing. And she always looks clean underneath her eyes. There are times that sometimes I look um, dark underneath here. And uh, I do believe that's from um, the pollution and working in casinos. And I did smoke for many years, amongst other things. But I don't smoke or drink or do any drugs whatsoever. Um, because I want to smoke cigarettes when I do, and I just don't want to smoke, so I just can't do the other stuff. So it's just easier for me not to do anything. All right, the next thing that comes up after the DDR, the probiotics and the prebiotics, and the enzymes are the GX Assist. Okay, this GX Assist is, uh, yeah, a lot of times people say, what do you got for parasites? Well, there's a couple of products um, from the company, uh, and um, you can look it up in the book, Modern Essentials. It'll uh, denote this, and it'll uh, denote the digestizen. Uh, in this uh, GX Assist, there's going to be lemon, oregano, melaleuca, thyme, lemongrass, which is also in the DDR, the thyme is in the DDR, the uh, melaleuca is in the DDR, and in there, this one, there is peppermint, and I've already mentioned thyme, and thyme is in the DDR too. So, oregano, lemongrass, thyme, black pepper, cinnamon, those are all heat shock proteins. They have done studies on DNA, and on these studies uh, in the DNA, what they found to detoxify the DNA that we have, these strands of DNA, they're finding out that the heat shock protein, which is sweating, or taking herbs that create the heat shock protein effect, and why not take something that's been certified pure therapeutic grade to be free of herbicides, pesticides, and any other foreign contaminants, especially if you are sensitive and you've had problems in the past, doesn't it make sense to do the best? For me, it does. Um, I really don't feel as though that I need this cleanse right now, uh, but, uh, you know, like physically, but why do I have to feel like crap to do a cleanse? That is the question. And in December, I always do something to help me cleanse and get through, uh, this month. And, uh, besides doing my yoga, my sweating, um, and using the sauna, and I'm not one of those ones to use that Dream Spy every single day. Um, I was on it like maybe two weeks ago. I don't use the Dream Spy every day. Um, I use the infrared sauna every day and drink alkaline water every day. And then I have the negative ions um, 